welcome. Today is the first time I will do a board review of a friend's board. And the first board out is this Mistral, also called the Lidl board. It's a cheap board that you can buy on Lidl supermarket here in Sweden for around 3000 Swedish crowns. So this board is three years old and been paddled for three seasons and I will in the end of this video tell you if it's have been any problem with this board. So the reputation of this board is that you get more than you pay for, maybe double. And today we're going to find out if that's true. And this is a double chamber board. So you have the ordinary chamber here and the inner chamber here. And both chambers should be pumped up to 15 psi. This board is 10 and a half foot long, 33 inch wide and 6 inch thick. So it's a short and wide board. We will see how this is to paddle. In front you have bunnies, but you can't adjust these bunnies. So you get what you get or you need to cut this and uh, replace it with a bunny that you can adjust. And then in the back of the board you have the D-ring for the leash. And the leash is a good leash but little too short. And then we flip the board around. Here in the front you have a toe ring. And here we have a free fin system, two small fins and one bigger. This is not the original fin, it's uh, broke and was replaced with this fin. This board gets wide really quickly and then it's wide the whole length of the board and the back is also wide. So this is going to be a stable board but also slow to paddle. It's also a slight bend in the nose and then it's completely flat like all ice ups. And when it comes to the backpack that you get with this board, it's what I expected to get for this low price point. It's not so padded, it's no wheels, it's a thin backpack, but still it's really good and works okay. The pump that comes with this board is a double action pump with a deflate function. It sounds very fancy, but it's actually hard to pump. And you also have a narrow grip and a narrow stand and the pump is short. So the ergonomic of this pump, it's bad. Give this video a like and show me that you really appreciate this work with these videos. Thank you very much. Let's go down to the river and paddle this board. When we're walking down to the river, we can feel that the handle is really well balanced for this board. So that's good. We start with the glide and the speed of this board. I thought this board would be really slow, almost sluggish, but it's faster than I thought. It's still slow, but for this board length and width, it's fast. Tracking. Tracking is bad. Really bad. I have expected more of this free fin system board, but it tracks really bad. The good thing is that it's really easy to maneuver. So, bad tracking, easy maneuver. When it comes to stability, this is really a beginner board because it's so, so stable, really stable. And it's also a double chamber board, so it's almost no flex at all on this board. So this is a three years old board and have it been any problem for the owner of this board during these three years it have. This year it have start leaking, have not found the leakage yet. Need to pump it up before every paddle. It's okay for one day, but next day you need to pump it again. And it's also a little twist in this board. Nothing you noticed when you paddle, but still a twist. So it's time to summarize and is this board 
better than its price point. It might have been, but now, a days, I think you get what you pay for. Nothing more, nothing less. It paddles a little faster than I thought. It's stable, as you can expect. And it's a really good beginner board, but for me, I would have maybe gone up in price and get a little more quality. Subscribe to this channel for more awesome content like this. Thanks for watching and Padalungt!